This craft is so child friendly. You guys are gonna have so much fun doing this. <laughs> we dare you to do this. What happened to my ring? That things like this all over our kitchen now. Happy Friday, everybody! Woo! Yep, it's another week down, six weeks now, for those people who are keeping track. In yesterday's video, we announced our winner to our giveaway, so you guys should go check that out in case it's you. Today's scripture is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 through 5. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. I love the image here of it's all part of God's plan. God's plan existed before we did. And it was no surprise to him that we aren't perfect. But we are called to be holy and blameless, which in itself is this high goal that's unattainable, really. But it's been made attainable through Jesus. That also means that God knew he'd have to become man and die on the cross before even creating us and he still chose to do that. Right, that's a good point, Kate. So the question then falls is, well, why do all of that when he knew what was gonna have to happen? And it's because it's his will and, and his pleasure, his delight in us as members of his family and the kingdom. I really like the words of how he chose us to be blameless and holy in his sight. Sometimes when we see ourselves, we might not see ourselves in the best of light, or we see our flaws, or we see our negative, or the things that hold us back or bring us down, but God's plan was never to see those things. He chose for us to be holy and blameless in his sight, knowing what would have to happen for that to happen. Maybe that's the uplifting statement that you need to hear today, that God sees you as holy and blameless. He doesn't see those flaws or those taints, but he sees you for who you truly are, a child of God. Alright everybody, so for today's fun slot, we are going to make some pom-pom hedgehogs. I said very confidently, sorry video online, looks really great, we're gonna try it out. We do not have the professional pom-pom maker, apparently that's a real thing. But I saw also in a different video that you can use little cardboard rings. I'm going to merge those two videos together and we're going to see how we go. Two rings each. We put a little slit on it to make it easier. And we're going to get some yarn. We've already picked out our colours. Your kids are in pink and white and I'm having brown and red. You're going to just get some of your yarn. You're going to work out which one is going to be your face. And you're simply going to use your thumb, wrap the yarn over just a little, and then using your other hand just to keep wrapping it all the way around. And one. you go around both circles same time. Parents, if you're looking for a craft that's going to take your kids quite some time, this may be the one that you are looking for. When you've done one colour, which is actually going to be the face of your little hedgehog, you're going to get your second colour, start on one side, go for it all the way around. The more layers you do, the fluffier it's going to be. Don't be shy. Spend some time getting this knot out that uh, <laughs> I've just created. I'm not sure if I'm going better or worse. It's not going as successfully <laughs> as one may have hoped. Well, I am not going to let this beat me. All right. Wow. <laughs> Are you done? I got the knot out. I am so proud of myself. See, kids, don't quit. <laughs> you can dream it, you can do it. They used to be my voicemail. No, that's just something I made up right now. No. So once you've wrapped it around, you want to cut a piece off, the main colour. Then, in between those two pieces of cardboard, you're going to cut all the way along. You're going to make sure you keep a nice, firm, tight grip, because you're going to hold it together until you've tied it. Alright? I don't think my hands are be big enough. The woman on the video just was like, psh, 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 psh. You're cutting like one string at a time. Whew. Also, how do I have so many... Because you have to hold it. You have to hold it on the whole time. Oh yeah. Nothing's <laughs> nothing's tied it. That's why I said it's hard. So easy. You're moving away from me. That makes it hard. <laughs> we were just finishing mine off camera. It was taking a little while, but we wanted to to just show you the disaster that was happening. We've chopped through the cardboard, we have no rings. I keep losing strings all over the floor. Mine is not going well. Let's just let's just say that. We'll give you an update. I'm not sure that mine's gonna survive. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> you need the rings. This is my ring. I can't wait to see how Kate's gonna tie this string through oh, this gosh. middle. <laughs> Stop laughing at my hedgehog. Right? I don't think we can tie that. What do you want me to do? Uh, put it 
it on the counter. Feel like we're performing like surgery here. <laughs> and Kate's gonna do what she does, and I'm just gonna give you a play-by-play. -play. We've dissected the body right now. We're in about three different pieces, maybe four. You know like when you vacuumed and you find those dust bunny things? Or pieces of carpet that broke off. Yeah, kinda reminds me of that. Kate's just laying <laughs> all the sh random strands that she's finding around <laughs> on top of the current hedgehog. This craft is so child friendly. You guys are gonna have so much fun doing this. <laughs> we dare you to do this. What happened to my ring? That things like this all over our kitchen now. All right, so you made it into a line. I have like no idea what is happening here. <laughs> we shouldn't show the cat. She's gonna think it's a mouse. I'm not sure I can get it right. There we go. I'm not sure how expensive pom pom makers are, but it might be a good future investment for people to have at home feeling this hedgehog never going to be the same again. Get these pieces that are just falling off. Can we just take a second to compare these hedgehogs? This is Kate's. Maybe you made a mouse. We have some red here at the front, some red underneath, some red in the back. The next thing they did is they trimmed it all the way around so that it was equal in length. I don't even know where to begin. I'm gonna make the best out of this rough situation here. Yeah, yours is gonna be styling. Oh, pieces keep falling out. Is that normal? Don't this you... angle, that looks like ears. If you could make a little bounce. Oh, yeah. The part that you have a smaller bit of color in, in my situation, it's white. Danny's was red. Separate that in your hand. Push all the other color down. Oh, so that smile. is what's sticking up. And then you cut that color to be shorter than the other color. It's gonna be their face, and it's kind of pushed in a little bit. I think I've salvaged it. When something goes wrong in art, you just, you gotta change your goal. It can still be great, yeah, it's just something different. And next, we put a face on it. You can use whatever you can find. We have some random beads. We can add some eyes and a nose. We're just using some tacky glue. You could hot glue, tape, whatever you're gonna do to, to make it happen for you. The face makes it a million times better. Yeah. A nice simple project for you guys to do at home. So cute! Back to you in the studio. Hey, so those are our little, I would say hedgehogs. I don't think that mine's a hedgehog. Still really proud of it though. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. You guys should make them, send us a picture, let us know, and maybe it'll appear in a later video. Have an awesome weekend, and we will see everybody on Monday. Bye! Bye.